We're at the Grand Canyon at the Bright Angel Cabins. They're right here on the rim. All you have to do is step out the door and voila, breathtaking view. Here the guys are at the Overlook. We're out in front of the Hopi House, H-O-P-I, for the Indians here. It's built in the 30s by Mary Coulter. And in it, it was kind of used as a sales center. Hopi Indians lived in the top and created blankets and pottery. All right, here's the Hopi house. I believe I'm going to go back and look at my history, but I believe it's built in the 30s. It was made to look natural as if it was left and had been built by the Indians living here. And over here is El Tovar, a famous old hotel. Um, we're going to go inside in a few minutes. This is a neat old place. See, it's constructed of logs. Here's a little bit more of the Hopi house. I backed up so I could get more of it in the frame so you can see more the size of it and how really rugged it looks. I just read on a plaque that the Hopi House was actually built in 1905. It was modeled after an Indian ruin. Tovar. There's a huge moose. You can see the beautiful rafters and the, um, I forgot what kind of light fixture that's called, but probably, I don't know, I think that might be a mule deer there. And what is that, Stephen? Right there. An elk. An elk. Oh, they're beautiful. A buffalo. We were just in the El Tovar lounge and we had a drink and some Navajo tacos. This is the lookout studio and you can see their terraces looking out. This is the Kolb studio. These brothers lived in this little place right on the rim of the canyon and took photos of people going down the trail on the donkeys. And what'd you say they are? Hey. You elk. female <clears throat> elk. Mm, well, no, he's got his horns. He doesn't have any horns right uh, now. Yeah. Beating on the side of the road the as we're heading towards the watchtower. <clears throat> That's funny. <laughs> Here we are. Here's the mighty Colorado down ahead. That was Ross crossing the camera there. Quite a view of the Grand Canyon here. Five o'clock. It's five o'clock. Now we're in the watchtower, and this is the dome room in the watchtower that was decorated. Um, it tells a story in Native American symbols. Some of these, like the Morning Star, are represented, as well as that one represents a uh, constellation. And you can see the serpent encircling the roof and see some more of his artwork. 
And then there are some that are like petroglyphs here, incorporated into the watchtower, all these little nook and cranny windows. Here's Stevie picking out. The glare is kind of bad right now, but there's the ceiling that was decorated. This has been like Michelangelo decorating the ceiling. Reed says the view out this window is pretty good. There's some more of the view out of the watchtower. Here you can really see the layers of the rocks going down to billions of years. Here we are the viewpoint of the watchtower looking out. Some of the mountains that you see in the distance are 90 miles away. Reed's having a good time hip-hopping around climbing trees. Hopefully we get out of here with him. Ross has just announced that he's seen enough rocks for today. And there's Pops trailing behind. This is the pinion juniper that you see all over up here. People will burn the wood. It smells really nice in their houses. This one's loaded with berries. Reed! Reed! Get out of that tree! Because I said so. Now we're at Moran Lookout Point, and it's... Uh, a little after six, so the golden light's out. <sighs> Wonder how cold it would be to whitewater rat right now. <laughs>
<laughs> Word has come through that we've got Ross <laughs> going to put on a display for us. So here he goes out to Clear Creek. <laughs> Reed. Gonna get a running stop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Harry, careful, slowly. Reed, that's enough. <clears throat> Raw son. Getting ready to shove off on the canoes, go back down Clear Creek to the cars. Son's getting ready to. Here we are, heading down Clear Creek to the back side of Ross. And then you can see ahead of us, Marty, David, and Reed are in the front canoe. The Clear Creek isn't clear today, but they say usually it is. It's just kind of cloudy due to spring runoff. I love the red little uh. flower. Yeah, I hope I I've got it. I hope you could see the red cactus flower up in the rocks. The cactus was blooming. Up the lazy river. You can soon see Stevie in action. Turn the balance. Well, that's a nice wooden beam. All right, go into the wall at Winslow, Arizona. Standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. And boy, are we a fine sight at this fine sight. To <laughs> Such see. a fine sight to see. The girl's the fine sight, though, it's not girl, the Girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford, slowing down to take a look at me.